Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for November 12th through the 18th. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I focus on love, we all know that already if you've been watching me for a while. We'll see whatever comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This reading is for the week of November 12th through the 18th. I have been watching some December readings. I don't have them up on my channel, but I've noticed there's dislikes on other people's readings. And I'm like, what the, what the, what the fuck? Excuse my language. It's not even December yet. Keep that in mind. Okay? This reading is for the week of November 12th through the 18th. All right? May or may not resonate right now. Keep that in mind. This reading might not even be for you. <laughs> right? It may or may not. We'll find out. What does Gemini need to know for next week? The week of the 12th to the 18th. What does Gemini need to know? Uh, somebody's not putting in effort. Somebody's not working hard enough. Could be the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with somebody who is detached, withdrawn, doesn't communicate well, and cannot master his emotions. Therefore, he doesn't communicate because he just can't. He just can't. He can't master his emotions enough to do so. And you have all the tools to do so, right? You're you're in your power right now you are you're feeling very strong you're very resourceful you got your shit together at this time and it, you may be thinking about turning your back on this person because you know <laughs> there's other fish in the sea anyhow um, so this person isn't putting in effort and you're you're considering your options at this point it's like hmm you know, I, I see that there's another opportunity here, right? There is another opportunity. Whew, this woman, she coming up reversed in like everybody's freaking reading. So there's a Debbie Downer in the mix. Somebody that lacks ambition, lacks drive, lacks passion. Definitely not putting in effort. This man could be dealing with another woman. Just saying. Just saying. All right. You may already know that, but whatever. Anyway, we got this woman here. It could even be you if you're a woman. I don't know. This woman, she lacks energy. She lacks ambition and she lacks drive. And she's like, she has no energy to do anything. And she's very self-centered and conceited as well. I mean, she is. And, you know, you have an opportunity, though. You have a golden opportunity to do something. A solid, stable opportunity. And maybe he does, and he don't see it because of this, this person. Who knows? This person is very, I mean, she's a know-it-all. She's, she's a good talker. She is a good talker. Anyway. This is um, liberation, freedom. You are definitely thinking about going in a new direction, aren't you? You are. You're thinking about taking that power right in your own hands and doing something with it. Um, yeah, you may have a new opportunity there, Gemini. You may have a new opportunity in love. Yeah, you have two choices. Do you could stay playing this game with this person who is messing around with somebody else and doesn't communicate with you and doesn't put in effort doesn't doesn't really have much to give or do you head in a new direction because now you have a choice and this choice could be unexpected it could come in all of a sudden you got this new connection and you have to make a choice you have to choose between two but <laughs> well done Ooh. You could meet this person if you haven't met them yet at a church or some kind of church gathering, just saying. 
if you haven't met this person yet, if you're single and you're looking for somebody and you go to church or you go to some kind of mass or who knows what, you could meet this person and there could be an instant attraction and you're like, woo, here's the ship I've been waiting for. Anyway, um, there is a, a choice that's going to be made that needs to be made. Um, and it is a really good opportunity that you may just want to take. You may just want to take this opportunity. Your inner guide is going to let you know the answer to this. I think that you have been dealing with one person that has been bringing you down. They've been stealing your energy. They haven't. They are, it's like this person is very manipulative and controlling. And you're about ready to take your power back because it's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So I, I do. I, I think this is freedom liberation. I think that there's... There could be one situation that's about to end. You got you got a new interest here. You do got a new interest here. And it's probably divinely guided by the looks of things. And I think that... Um, hmm, you're going to have to have faith and trust in your gut in this situation. Your gut is going to give you the answer. Trust it. Because you're going to have to make a choice on the fly kind of like it's like all of a sudden you meet this person it's like oh shit yep somebody's gonna offer you love and you deserve this love follow your intuition I'm serious really 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 follow your intuition This could lead to a solid commitment, okay? And it's a perfect match. Could be with a Taurus, could be with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't think it's this person because this, this person, this could be you, this person up here stealing energy. So this could be you who's like, man, I am fucking, oops, there I go again. I am like drained. You've drained me, sucked me dry. I'm dry, you know? And now all of a sudden you got this new connection. You're like, oh, I'm surprised we don't have the Queen of Swords here. We probably will. Anyway, um, now you have this new opportunity that's presented to you and it's, it's just something you can take to the friggin' bank, right? This person ain't been putting in any effort and you deserve love. I mean, you got a full cup of love ready to offer and I think there's somebody else that may get it. All right. Yeah, there's a, there's an end to something. It's like he, this person up here, wherever this person is, they're not bringing any abundance into your life. So you may be like, hell no, I'm moving out of this situation. There's no abundance here. There's no no stability here. Nothing coming from whoever this person is that can't even communicate. And it looks like you're probably going to leave them pa that behind. It's like, you know what? I don't need to hold on to this. I don't need to hold on to this hurt. I don't need to be grieving over you when I got a new opportunity for love. To the left, to the left. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to remove this obstacle from my life. I'm not going to stay here and be lied to and let you steal my energy and stay in this situation just because, uh, you know, it's it's comfortable. But you may be like, time for me to take some action right now. Move out of this situation. There's going to be something that happens very, very quickly that changes your direction, Gemini. It's because you've been in a situation with somebody that is an energy thief. Okay. This person lacks ambition. This person lacks drive. This person has lost all ability to put in any effort whatsoever into the relationship. You're dealing with somebody that has a really big ego as well. You are. And I feel like this person is going to be kicked right out of your life. I don't know where that is coming from, but I feel like 
He's going down. Somebody's going down. He or she, because we have women and men here. So somebody is about to be cut out. And I don't even need the Queen of Swords to see that. That's what it looks like to me. Looks like you're just an obstacle at this point because I have another opportunity that I am connected to that is so loving and genuine. It's like, man, I want the freaking love. Uh, yeah, you're going to make the decision. You're going to make a, a decision this week. And it's going to be instant. It's going to be like, you don't have a choice. To... Sorry, I got to let my cat in. Uh, well, maybe I won't. Anyway, um, it's an instant decision, okay? Because instant decision. And that's what's going to happen here. You're going to make an instant decision to, you know, in, to choose. You have to, that's, this is what's going to happen, okay? Instant decision between two paths. Somebody's going to come into your life. There's going to be a instant attraction. It's like, I can't deny this shit. And somebody else is going to be cut off because they don't reciprocate. I mean, that's what this is. So be prepared to receive, to run into somebody that sparks your interest instantly. We're going to get one of these. I'm not going to keep going because it's pretty clear cut. It's what you've been waiting for. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, what is this? Like the ship of dreams or something? It's like the wish that you have been wishing for. But next to that, we have the ten of swords. You're going to have to break free with the ten of swords reversed. Something is going to have to be let go of, right? That's what this is. Freedom that you're going to have to break free from something first. That's the way it always is, right? Anyhow, instant decision in regards to love. Unexpected. This person is not your usual type, but it's a perfect match. It's a per and you're going to feel it instantly. It's going to be like, oh my God, where have you been all my life? Where have you been? And they're going to feel the same way. It's, you're both going to feel the same way. So let's hope and pray this is for you, huh? Um. Woohoo! Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you more ro romance. Romance. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You're going to have to make an instant decision. But you're pretty good at doing that anyway, right? You are the, you are the, the queen and king of swords. So, good luck. Talk to you next week.